uh, hello guys and uh, welcome to my new tutorial in this video we are going to design a smart home application in uh, Adobe XD this is actually a smart blinds application uh, which uh, lets you connect uh, your home blinds with the uh, application in uh, order to uh, in order to um, open and close uh, blinds uh, whenever you want uh, so uh, first of all I have uh, already picked the colors for uh, for uh, our design and uh, those color codes will be down in the description uh, first we're going to start by creating a menu uh, icon so create a rectangle uh, with width of 26 and height 3 uh, and the radius of course 2 now, now we're going to copy uh, again and again and again and uh, we're going to lower the size uh, the width of the second of the third and of the okay uh, now that we have uh, our menu we're going to group and uh, change the name to menu now uh, the left margin uh, should be around uh, 17 so we're going to uh, move on the left a little bit okay uh, next what we're going to do we're going to create a title uh, so uh, title will be devices uh, we're going to change the color uh, a font will be SF Pro Display uh, Medium. Okay, like that on the center of the screen. And uh, I think we are going to increase the size of this font to 36. And okay, we're going to lower this a little bit and uh, center our menu icon like that. Okay, after we uh, created the title we're going to create new icon which is add icon plus icon um, just create a simple rectangle um, and um, we're going to uh, choose a green color for that uh, width will be uh, around 32 and height will be uh, uh, width will be uh, no 21.21 uh, uh, and the height will be 4.74 I just chose that uh, those numbers uh, by myself you can choose uh, another if you want so next uh, just group those two elements and the uh, right margin should be around uh, 23 I guess okay uh, now that we have those uh, three elements we're going to create a box which will hold the um, device so create a rectangle uh, of width uh, around uh, 355 and the height will be around 88 so remove borders and the radius will be 4 uh, next we're going to add a shadow x will be 0, y will be 2 and the bold will be 8 ok like that and so put that box um, on the center of the screen and uh, next we're going to create a text uh, which will say two devices online uh, we're going to uh, change uh, color to gray, uh, font to uh, SF Pro Display Light, and uh, uh, size to 16. And of course, we're going to add that uh, on top of the box on the center of the screen, like that. And now, uh, and now we're going to uh, create a circle which will represent uh, an uh, activity indicator we're going to paint it uh, green color and uh, set it up uh, on the right top corner like that so it will it means that this uh, current device is online okay next uh, we're going to create another text which will say uh, bedroom blinds and uh, we're going to change the color uh, a font size and uh, maybe a font uh, from light to uh, okay size will be 22 and uh, below that we are going to type uh, horizontal blinds because uh, this box will represent the uh, horizontal blinds and just below that text okay on the center of the screen uh, 
and uh, now we're going to start uh, by creating an icon for uh, horizontal blinds. So first add one uh, simple rectangle which will uh, be width uh, 43 and uh, height to 5. And just uh, press Alt, press and drag uh, this, uh, this rectangle and change uh, the width to 34. And of course the color. So we're going to copy a couple of times. And this uh, simple icon will represent um, horizontal blinds. Okay, now select all those elements and click uh, Ctrl G to group those elements. And we're going to rename that to horizontal blinds. Now that we have that, we're going to set that on the center on the left side of the box. Okay, uh, left margin should be around uh, 12, 14 or 16 as you wish and uh, okay now those two texts uh, will be on the center of the box um, okay it should look something like that uh, left margin should be around 17 uh, I guess Okay, so this uh, box represents uh, one device. So we're going to copy this box once more time and once more time again. And uh, for the second box, we're going to change uh, this uh, online indicator to gray and uh, all those elements to gray because uh, that means that uh, this uh, device is not activated or uh, it's offline. So now we're going to group that and change name to uh, offline blinds uh, but before that, uh, we forgot to uh, change this uh, icon so we need to create um, mini blinds icon for mini blinds and we're going to change this text to mini blinds of course and the title will be something like uh, something different mm, let's say John's uh, blinds or John's room Okay, and now we're going to create a new icon uh, for uh, mini blinds. So first uh, let's change the height to 2.5 and we're going to ungroup those elements. I'm going to move those uh, bigger blinds on the left side. Okay, and now let's create uh, more of those uh, little blinds. Okay, like that. And now we're going to uh, put one uh, vertical uh, rectangle on the center. So it should look something like uh, like that. A white color on the center. All right. And now let's group those elements. And there we go. We have our icon for uh, mini blinds. We're just going to center a little bit to align with uh, the rest of the items, the rest of the elements. And the third uh, will be vertical blinds. And we're going to change the name to um, main room blinds. Okay. And uh, next we're going to uh, create a new icon for uh, vertical blinds. Uh, ungroup. We're going to ungroup those elements first. And then uh, we're going to change the width to 6 and height to 20. Uh, height will be 26 or 29 okay just copy a few times those uh, uh, those rectangles and there you go we have a simple icon for a rectangle uh, for um, vertical blinds just group those elements and change the name to vertical blinds and there we go uh, we have uh, successfully created the third uh, icon for blinds Now we're going to group uh, those elements. And uh, now we're going to create the bottom uh, navigation. Uh, width will be 75. Uh, height will be 75 and width uh, 375. Of course, we're going to add the shadow like that. 
and in this bottom navigation uh, we're going to create uh, four uh, four icons for uh, for different uh, kind of uh, text the first uh, uh, icon will be for uh, text named devices of course the font will be the same SF Pro display thin uh, 20 size and the next uh, icon will be for uh, schedules the third for groups and the last one for settings okay um, so those four icons we are going to create uh, in the next video uh, thank you for watching uh, please uh, check the next video so we can continue working on uh, our smart uh, home uh, application design